Are you curious about house hacking and what it is? I'm going to tell you very briefly what it is and how you can potentially take advantage of it. This is Shahida Hill getting you over the hill to home ownership and helping you confidently buy your first home. If you're looking to build your real estate portfolio and you don't have that much money to put down, then house hacking could be a way to go. So I'm going to briefly explain one of the primary ways that people house hack. Now, to buy an investment property, most lenders are going to require at least 10 to 20 percent down. The reason being is because investment properties are thought of as more risky than owner occupied properties, where the person that is borrowing the money for the mortgage is actually going to live in the home. And so they require a higher down payment and usually a little bit of a higher interest rate. So, and a lot of people don't have that much money to put down 10% to 20%. So they go the more um, affordable route. They may do some of the lower down payment options that they have. So for in this example, 3.5% FHA option or a conventional loan with about 5% down on average to do this. So house hacking pretty much says that I'm going to buy a house and I'm going to allow other people to pay my mortgage and usually it's renters. So in order to house hack in this example, you're going to have to buy a multi-unit property. Now for FHA and conventional loan purposes, if you're buying a house with less than four, four or less units, so either two units, three units or four units, then they will allow you to do that as long as you're going to occupy one of the units. So that's very important. You must occupy, and I have my little um, diagram here, it's not the most, <laughs> the best artistry, but you must occupy at least one of the units. So for example, if you were to buy a duplex, so a two unit property and live in one of the units, you can still get an owner occupied mortgage of either 3% 3.5% down or, or conventional 5% down. So either between 3.5% or 5% down, which is much lower than 10 to 20% for an investment property. So you would buy either a duplex, a triplex or a fourplex. This is my fourplex. But again, you must live in order to make this work. You must live in one of the units. And the house hacking part of it is that these other rentals will be paying your mortgage more than likely. So if you're setting it up correctly. When you buy this, you know, this property and you rent out these, depending on what your mortgage is, more than likely um, these other units will have enough to pay or cover your mortgage. If you're just doing a duplex, it may pay a good portion of your mortgage depending on the interest rate and the price. But this is an option to help you buy investment property um, with low money down. Now, another thing to be mindful of is you need to stay in this unit for at least one year. So according to the, when you sign all your documents to get this mortgage, you're agreeing to own or occupy for at least one year. After that year, you can rent this unit out as well and perhaps do the whole thing over again. So this is an option for some people. Like I live in Georgia and we don't have that many multifamily units as more, um, more urban areas generally do. But you know, if this is something that you're interested in, it allows you to become a real estate investor, or if you want to continue to live in the property, it will allow you, you know, to be an investor plus have a place to live where you're not having to pay that mortgage. So if you're interested, then get pre-approved with your lender and then tell them you're interested in doing a multi-family up to two, two, three or four units and then work with a realtor to help you find a property that's in your price range that will work um, if you're considering something like this. This is Shahida Hill getting you over the hill to home ownership. Please like and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.